morning. It's November 2nd. I don't November. It's December 2nd. I don't know when I'm getting this video up. I mean, it's always as soon as possible, but I know that Vlogmas for me is no longer possible. It's really difficult to do, especially when I've already had four or five videos pre-filmed that I'm working on to get uploaded. So that's why I don't know when this one will come out. I actually need to head out in like two minutes. I'm meeting with my book club. We're actually going to the book club. I think it's more of a restaurant than a cafe, kind of like in Linden Hills, South Minneapolis area. I've never been there but we kind of all figured like we have to go there at least once for book club right I'm having a little bit of coffee and then I'm heading out to brunch it is a beautiful Saturday it's actually pretty warm for December and weird fact here in Minnesota we haven't had like our first real fall of snow yet which I think is the latest ever or at least recently usually we have snow in October so the fact that we made it to December without a snowfall is very weird to look outside and see how sunny it is still but I did just want to vlog today because last time I had plans. I regretted not vlogging, but the book club girls are going to the book club restaurant and I'll take you along. I might even stop at a bookstore and I have P.O. boxes here. It is the holiday season from all the PR lists I'm on, so I have a huge pile of goodies that I'm excited to open. Like I did mention, it's December 2nd, and I have not decorated for Christmas yet. I haven't put up the Christmas tree, so I want to do that in this vlog because I'm sure when you're watching this, you're wondering where the heck it is. And this is like the latest that I usually set up the tree. It's 10.30, I do have to head out. We're getting brunch at 11. Also, I forgot to mention, but how cute is this little stockings mug? It's the perfect size for like a small Americano or coffee or even just espresso. Isn't it so cute? I actually got this at the European Christmas market last weekend with Maddie. We were invited by one of our friends who also is in the industry here. It's really fun to have kind of like a network of content creators here now and really build that relationship. And it's nice having my friend Maddie live here too because now I have like someone in the industry to go to with all of the, for all these events. But yeah, this was really, really cute. And we all got our little free mugs. I low key got two so I can have a matching set, but it was fine. that 12 p.m. golden hour. <laughs> I just got out of brunch with my book club. It's actually 1 p.m., but still, the sun should not be this golden yet. We read Lessons in Chemistry for November, but honestly, I think only two people read it. Some months sneak up on me, so I, I didn't get a chance to finish it yet before book club, but neither did like three other people, so I don't feel as guilty. And then we also decided on Britney Spears' memoir for the December read, so I'm really excited to read that next month as well. I literally have like two hours left of daylight. I really wanna go to this bookstore up the street, but I feel like that wouldn't be smart with the time that I need today to get stuff done. I do wanna do like a vlog where I'm exploring that bookstore soon but I know I should head home it's really nice out today though I do love it morning hi took all the frames out of the top that is insane it looks really nice, so big. Look at all that light. I know, so much space. Oh my God. I feel like I have so many packages piling up. Like we have all of these and this huge box here. So let's see what we have. I also have a deadline for some TikTok ad videos today and then I do wanna decorate for Christmas tonight. So we have a lot to do. I'm feeling a little bit stressed, but this first package I believe is from Hey Happiness. I've worked with them a lot and they are by far like my favorite jewelry brand. I love Hey Happiness. This butterfly necklace that I wear all the time and both of these earrings, they're both from Hey Happiness Jewelry and I think their quality is amazing. Their jewelry selection everything they sent over three more pieces I don't know if this is coming out before Christmas but mom don't watch this 
I decided to gift her some Hey Happiness jewelry. I sent over the website and had my mom just like pick her top three. Hey Happiness sent over these little silver pearl earrings. I've got these gold hoop earrings and then these slightly bigger gold hoop earrings for my mom as well. I really hope she likes these. I mean, I, she picked them out, but this is part of my mom's Christmas present. I believe they also plant a tree with every purchase, which I love. I always have a discount code for Hey Happiness as well. It's linked down below. Definitely check them out. I think they do have a deal going on right now so if you need some good quality jewelry pieces hey happiness this next one is from geometry which i think they reached out to me via instagram geometry sent over a, a ton of festive towels for this season oh they're so soft i really really love them but we have this little like mistletoe pink christmas tree towel i love this one the pine trees it's gonna look so good in the kitchen oh i think i got another did I get two? Oh, I got a hand towel and then a kitchen towel. So I have four towels for the season. It's always nice to get new hand towels, especially festive ones. So thank you Geometry for sending those over. I'll link my discount code to them down below as well because I'm pretty sure I have one. This next one is from Covey, I believe is how you say this. It looks like Covey, but I think on their email it said Covey. I'm really excited for this one. Minimalist skincare, maximum, maximum results. Covey or Covey, I think it is Covey. Covey sent over this cleanser. I have a vitamin C serum and a moisturizer. I love their pastel color palette for their products. I'm really excited to try this. Thank you so much for sending these over. I also think I have a discount code for this. I will always try to hook you guys up with a discount. I'm not sure what this one is. Sometimes it's really clear by the label and other times it just comes from a warehouse in like Kentucky and I have no idea. This looks fancy. Look at that. It's from a lab in Switzerland. It's literally from Switzerland. Look at the packaging. Okay, I think we have more skincare. Oh my gosh. My coffee table is getting super messy from the unboxing, but Vertilab sent over three high quality skincare products. So we have this natural glow vitamin C brightening cream, which looks amazing. I love the color of this one. This is their illuminating micro exfoliating mask. I love a good exfoliating mask. Also not the reflection of me vlogging. Look at my face. That's so funny. And then they also sent over this acid power imperfections treating concentrate. All their products are made in Sweden and they look like great quality. So thank you so, so much for sending these over. I'm really excited to try these. I also cannot wait to reuse these jars because these... Oh my god. Anyway, I'm also excited to reuse these jars because they seem really, really nice. This one is really heavy and it sounds like bottles. What is this? Oh my god. <gasps> How did they know? Okay, I really don't know where this came from. There's a chance I just don't remember. In the last vlog that I think went up, I talked about my sub sobriety a little bit and how, you know, it's really hard to go completely sober, obviously. And I've gone through phases with that and it just never works for me. So if I look at it differently, different mindset, different perspective, different results, I do better. And something that has helped me drink a lot less is having fun alternative drinks in the house so that I can pretend to drink in like a wine glass, but it's like an apple cider vinegar mocktail or it's an Izzy soda pop or something like that. So this is perfect because Three Spirit sent over non-alcoholic spirits. They're called functional spirit alternatives. So we have this nightcap one, which is calm, woody, and mellow, and it's a non-alcoholic elixir. So I'm so curious what these taste like. A smooth, indulgent elixir blended with lemon, valerian, and hops. I've tried a lot of like non-alcoholic beers and wine and sometimes I really can't tell the difference. I mean, obviously you can in a sense, but they're really good alternatives. This one is Livener. Livener, it's energized, juicy, and fiery. Serve over ice with club soda and a garnish of grapefruit. Ooh, so maybe it's like a Paloma or a gin. And then the third one that they sent is the Social, which is Floaty Herbal Bliss. This one they say to serve over ice with ginger ale and an orange slice. So maybe it's like a mule, but these are so nice. I'm really excited to try these and see how they taste. If these will make a really good alternative because I'm always looking for something to drink that gives me almost like the same taste and feeling of a cocktail without the effects obviously but those are so exciting i feel like this one's gonna be like whiskey because it says serve straight over ice with an orange twist this is going to be like an old-fashioned i really want to try these last one i know what this one is and i'm really really excited woven nook on instagram 
asked if they could send over some pillows. Oh yeah. Everyone's okay. Unboxings get so messy. Woven Nook is this amazing pillow, pillowcase, home, comfy brand, and they sent over free pillow inserts. I chose these slips, so I went with this dark green gingham for the two, and then just like a beige for the one in front of it. I think these will look really cute in my room, so I will put these on my bed as well. I think these are also low-key Christmassy, which is exciting because, because we need to decorate for Christmas. I wanna do that today so badly. Ashton actually FaceTimed me about half an hour ago, and his client today canceled, so instead of working, he's free, but I'm working today, and I have TikTok deadlines. I'm working with the brand Tammy again on TikTok. I've worked with them for years. They're really great. And I will say they are one of the best brands to work with. And then I was actually a user of the app right when I like came out and decided like I am ready to date women and I was comfortable with my sexuality, accepting my sexuality, and Tammy was the app that I found and used, and it worked at the time, it really did. So it was really cool and full circle when they reached out asking to collaborate, because I was able to share with my rep my experience a little bit, and I think that adds a lot to the campaign when it's like a real user. And ever since then, every couple of months, they'll do another campaign with me. So I have three TikToks due tonight they all have to be in different outfits different locations different trends and i usually try to send over four tiktoks just in case one doesn't work they have a backup i did that once and they paid me more money for it so if you also work with brands it never hurts to go above the minimum because you might get rewarded for that it's almost 2 p.m i have an hour and a half left of daylight so i do really have to film those tiktoks and then i really need to clean like not only clean the mess i just made but my weekly cleaning to do's i need to water the plants and then tonight we're decorating. Like this is the aftermath of filming an unboxing. And now I also wanna get some Instagram pictures too for these products. So I'm gonna lay them out on the floor, I think, and try to get some pictures to post, and then we can pick up. nights later Ashton came over last night and helped me finish decorating for Christmas so as you saw the tree 
Fireplace stockings upstairs. I'll show you that later in this vlog. Everything is decorated. Everything is ready for this holiday season and it feels so cozy in here. And we did have a little bit of snow tonight on my drive home from yoga, so it felt very magical. But I wanted to try the nightcap. I'm kind of hoping it's going to be like an old fashioned type of whiskey or rum. And the way that you serve this one is just straight over ice. So let's make this drink. I did make some popcorn and I just wanna catch up on Vlogmas videos before bed tonight. I was editing a lot. It says serve 1.7 fluid ounces straight over ice and garnish with an orange twist. So it's gonna be really small. Maybe I'll use one of the espresso cups with like, oh, even better, perfect. Oh my gosh, it smells so good. That lemon spice, it reminds me of something. Like, oh, I cannot place it, but it does taste, smell like something. And I'm totally gonna have to eyeball this because I don't have 1.7. I've got one ounces, half an ounce, a fourth of an ounce. So let's start with, oh, it's like margarita mix. That's what it kind of smells like. This is one ounce. And for 0 0.7, I'll just do a little bit over the half ounce. That seems about right over ice that looks perfect this will be my little nightcap it looks so cute cheers it'd be like if this were a sweet old-fashioned it's kind of like a hot toddy i don't know why i was expecting it to taste like alcohol because obviously it's not gonna taste like that but for a good alternative it does taste very very na but i mean it is na it's good i like it though it's like a little lemony juice I'm gonna go enjoy my popcorn with my nightcap and catch up on some Vlogmas videos. The last two nights since I've unboxed this, I have been using Kobe or Covey's moisturizer before bed, and I am so in love with this. This kind of reminds me of the Banish vitamin C moisturizer, which I will say, because I do love Banish and I still use all of their products like cleanser, the moisturizers right here, but they changed the bottle and I think Banish changed the formula. I'm pretty sure, like I can tell a difference unless I got like a weird batch it doesn't feel the same but this cubby one it reminds me of what the old banish one used to be it is just so thick and creamy and buttery and it feels so moisturizing and yes i'm still using what's left on this little cover because not a single drop is going to waste it's just the most moisturizing butter cream nightly moisturizer especially going into these winter months too i always look for a pretty thick moisturizer in the winter months too just because it gets so dry here and in my bedroom it gets very dry too because my bedroom is above my garage and the garage is colder i am very very impressed with cubby's moisturizer i'm pretty sure i have a discount code for this but highly 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 recommend it's my new favorite and i love moisturizers that come in this jar because this is what Banish used to come in and now it's a pump and I feel like they've they've made it more liquidy Like I still love Banish, but they've changed their moisturizer without telling anyone. I'm pretty sure Allegedly 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 maybe they didn't they probably didn't but based on somebody that uses it every single night It feels different. I'm so happy that I found a new moisturizer that feels thick and creamy and like everything I was looking for because this is what I need before bed for sure and then I just have some hand lotion because I cover my hands in lotion every single night. I feel like it was Khloe Kardashian that talked about how she doesn't want to have old wrinkly hands when she's older and that's why she puts lotion on it but I do like a thick body cream on my hands before bed as well because I'm just we're all trying to look as youthful as we can. Definitely a big reason why I make sure to moisturize my hands every single evening so I can have youthful hands in the years to come. I'm ready for bed.
it's 1 30 in the morning i'm gonna end the vlog here but thank you so much for coming on this weekend couple of days in my life with me at the best time with my book club earlier this weekend and i'm so glad that ashton and i could decorate for christmas together it was really special and when i think back on the last two Decembers that I've been seeing him. This is like the first year that we really decorated for Christmas together. So I ended up editing one time through my book tour book collection video, which took like an hour. And then I journaled a little bit and I worked on some Instagram content that's coming out soon, like finalizing some pics. And I always do this because now I'm too tired to read my book and it's too late. It's 1.30, like I should be going to bed. And that is why I haven't read as many books recently. It's been a little bit of a challenge prioritizing reading time when I feel like my day has suddenly become so condensed with winter and just shorter days. It's been kind of a struggle lately to make the time to read. I feel like in the summertime I just prioritized it better or I don't know just like reading outside I was reading more but thank you so much for watching this vlog. I'll see you really soon in my next video. Good night!